Welcome back to Marine Real Talk. All over the world, ships are sailing with B&W engines. Four-stroke and two-stroke, single-acting and double-acting, with or without turbocharging. One-third of the entire motor ship tonnage of the world is fitted with Bormeister and Wayne engines. The story of Bormeister and Wayne's success on the Seven Seas began at Augsburg in Germany. It was here in the 1890s that Rudolf Diesel started tinkering with a new type of engine. He wished to create an engine that was lighter in weight, better in performance, and above all, more economical. It was a question of getting a mixture of air and atomized oil to explode in such a way that the pressure from the explosion would drive an axle. One day the task was completed. Then Rudolf Diesel's engine could only drive in one direction. The ship's engine must be able to reverse. One fine day, the reversible diesel engine had become a reality. It's too small. Make a bigger engine, a very big engine. An engine that can drive a big ship. There was the engine. A giant that made dwarfs of men. Even of the big ship owner. <laughs> Development continued. Well done. so it's 103 years old and still running. <laughs> Thank you. 